Hi, my name's Lloyd from electricsense.com and I'm going to give you 12 quick and easy tips on reducing your exposure, on protecting yourself from cell phone radiation. So firstly, my first tip is very important, um, is to not let your children use cell phones because children have developing organs, lower brain density, the blood brain barrier does not work as effectively and studies have shown that they are much more susceptible uh, to cell phone radiation than adults. Second point is limit the length of your phone calls to the absolute minimum. The longer you're using a cell phone, the more you're exposed to the radiation. Third point is to use a speakerphone as much as possible because the further you have the uh, cell phone away from you, from your body, then the less radiation uh, you're absorbing. Fourth point, when you're using your cell phone, so if you're receiving an incoming call, you press on the accept the phone, accept the to connect, and you don't put it to your ear until the connection is established, because it's in the first few moments that there is the most uh, radiation emitted. And similarly, uh, when you're calling out, you dial your number, you you click you press to, to, to make the connection and then you wait until the correspondent comes online and then you put it uh, to your ear or you know, use a speakerphone. Um, the fifth point, so um, avoid carrying the phone directly on your body, um, particularly anywhere around vital organs like your heart, uh, like your kidneys, like your groin. Again, there's absolutely tons of studies on this and uh, very dangerous, um, particularly if you're doing it uh, regularly. It's not something which is going to necessarily affect you straight away, but it will, it will have a long-term impact. Um, sixth point, only use your cell phone in areas of optimum reception. Very easy to know if you've got optimum reception. Just look at your phone. If you've got all the bars on there, you're in optimum reception. So you don't want to be using it in elevators, in basements, and places like that. Uh, seven point, do not use your cell phone in a, move, in a moving vehicle because if you do, the, the cell phone is scanning all the time, trying to look for the nearest cell phone tower and the harder you make it work, the more radiation it emits and the more you absorb into your body. The eighth point, don't use a cell phone in a car at all if you can avoid it. You have to understand that when you use a cell phone in a car, it's a bit like a microwave oven. It's called the Faraday cage uh, effect and the, uh, you've got a radiation emitting device which is in a metal box and instead of it being in the food, in a metal box, it's your body and it's your body that absorbs the radiation. Uh, never, ninth point, never sleep with a cell phone switched on. In fact, my advice is don't even have one in your bedroom. That's the easiest way of not having one which is switched on. That's when you, night time is when your body uh, needs to recharge and uh, there are lots of hormones which are re uh, being released um, so that you can recover for the next day. The tenth point, um, avoid using your phone if you're feeling ill or run down or particularly uh, the elderly are more susceptible, again studies have shown that, pregnant women, <laughs> keep away from it, uh, the amniotic fluid which uh, you, uh, is no protection uh, for, for, for your baby. Um, eleventh point, when buying your cell phone, go for one with the lowest SAR. SAR means specific absorption rate and um, in the uh, UK the SAR is set to 2 watts per kilogram, in the uh, US it's at 1.6 uh, watts per kilogram and it gives you the best indication, it's not ideal but it's the best indication we have at the moment of the uh, so of, the, of what your body is going to be absorbing the radiation. Twelfth point, uh, if you do have a, a cell phone, uh, you're better to use it uh, as a text uh, sending device, receiving device, than using it uh, to, to speak on. So those are my twelve points on uh, reducing, on protecting yourself from cell phone radiation. Uh, cell phone radiation is only the tip of the iceberg uh, because there's lots of we're exposed to lots of other forms of radiation uh, at home and at work, and EMFs generally 
you need to try and understand to protect you and your family. You can find much more information on this at my website, electricsense.com. My name's Lloyd. Thank you for your time.